Finally, the work is done, and Udemy finished reviewing my latest course, working with the Web API with Microsoft Power Automate, or formerly known as Flow. I'm proud of this course, not because this is the course that I developed from scratch, because this is the course that I built for non-developers. Yes, you heard it right. A web API course for non-developers. Let's see what this course contains. It was quite a challenge to create a course of using a web API for non-developers. So this is how I decided to do that. My assumption is that most of people that they want to use Power Automate used to be developers long, long, long time ago. Now they are either managers, directors, and they want to use the power of new platform, but they don't know where to start. Some of these guys may have been even developing web APIs long time ago using SOAP and XML web services, but now they need to brush up their knowledge and come back to the new world because Flow is targeting business users, not developers. So this is how the course goes. You know what? Let's forget about this page. Let me show you what this course really contains. And this is where we get into course roadmap. The course starts with understanding Web API. Assuming that non-developers, they don't even know what Web API is. We have a quick review of what Web API is and how it can help us solve the problems and what are the typical scenarios for Web API's consumption and what are the scenarios that we actually use Web APIs. This chapter starts from basic and completely explains Web API in layman language. It doesn't mean that people who have been developers, they don't need to go through this course, but it has essentials that you need to know before you start building or consuming Web APIs with Microsoft Power Automate. After we understand what we are going to build, we go through creating the Web API using Power Automate. Flow provides a very easy to use environment to create Web API as long as you know the game rules, which we learned in understanding the Web API. So we learn the game rules. Here, we start building our own Web APIs, which is gonna be very easy yet exciting for people that they haven't done this before, especially. Of course, developers that they have done this before many times, they realize that, okay, they just need to match their previous knowledge with the elements and components that we have here. After creating our own web APIs, we take it to the next level and start consuming the APIs that the other developers have built for us. Some of these web services are somewhere outside that we don't know where they are. And some of these web APIs are developed by our own corporate developers because Flow couldn't do something and we asked them to code it for us. Regardless, we learn how to create a web API. We also learn how to consume web API. You guessed it right. We will also call the web APIs that we created ourselves using Power Automate from another flow in the Power Automate. And that is gonna happen in the last chapter, which is real life examples of Web APIs and Power Automate. Developers clearly know when and where to use Web API, but non-developers still need a little bit of mind training to apply the knowledge that they have gained during this course in the right place. And that's why I have this chapter. I'll bring up the scenarios that helps you think about the Web API and the possible use of them in that scenario. Now let's see what everybody else sees in the course page. This course has the prerequisite. It requires your basic knowledge of JSON, JavaScript object notation. It doesn't mean that you need to be a developer. I already have a course that gives you just enough JSON knowledge that you need to go through this course. And the good news is that this course is free. Just go to Udemy or just click on my profile on Udemy and you will find this course called JSON Crash Course. It doesn't take you more than an hour or something to understand. You just need to go through this course and get a good understanding of JSON. And then you're good to go with 
this course, but make sure you are comfortable with JSON, which is very easy to understand. You need to have the JSON. You also need to be able to create flows using the Power Automate. Basically, this is not a beginner course. I call it an intermediate course. But if you have already taken my other course called Microsoft Flow Crash Course, you are more than capable of continuing with this course. Now, it starts with an introduction to the course. So I will tell you what the course is about and where we are going with this. We talk about understanding the Web API. And in this section is the basic understanding of what Web APIs are, why we need them, and how we work with them. Yes, because this is for non-developers, there are a few quizzes to test your knowledge and make sure yet that you have a good foundation of the Web API before you start building it. Next chapter is going to be creating Web APIs. So creating the Web APIs using the Power Automate, using different methods, get, post, patch, and delete. And finally, we see the error handlings and exception handling and how we need to produce our own errors. After we create our own Web API, we need to learn how to consume the Web APIs that are provided by third parties and all the other companies that we need to communicate. We go through all these scenarios and we show you a good number of examples and complexities and challenges that you need to deal with. Finally, the last one is to change your mindset for the Web API consumption. We talk about connectors. We talk about asking developers to help you to build Web APIs for you to extend the capabilities of your Microsoft Power Automate. And finally, we will see how to reuse your work. Basically, you create one flow and you want to call it from another flow using Power Automate. For every single one of them, it's not just talk. We basically do a real example. And finally, this course comes with a certification. So you get your certificate and we celebrate together. Just don't forget to share your certificate on LinkedIn and tag me so that I know that you completed the course. Apart from that, I am sharing 20 free vouchers of this course. I produce them tomorrow and they are valid only for three days. So please, from now that you see this video, if you see them within three days from release of this video, send me a message on LinkedIn, and I will send you a free voucher for this course if you're interested. Thank you for watching, and I hope you will enjoy the course.